Okay, so today I'm going to doing a video on Google's upcoming netbook operating system. As we all know, they released a public beta. The downside was that you had to run it on a virtual machine, which kind of sucked and it was slow. A few people have managed to port it so that you can actually boot off a USB thumb drive. I managed to get it up and running on my flash drive here, so I'll give you a quick demo. It really is probably slower than the virtual machine. This is just a proof of concept, so yeah. So I'm just going to choose to boot off my USB drive. It's uh, it's actual booting times are a lot faster than Windows, um, but it's very laggy. The actual version that I got um, has Wi-Fi drivers for this particular Wi-Fi card. Now I don't know whether the speed is a direct impact from the USB flash drive because, you know, it's obviously not as fast as a hard drive. Okay, so that's it logging in there. Try and zoom in just here real quick. Stop it about there. Uh, you can see, you know, the top bar there. Uh, essentially, it looks pretty fast from here. Uh, it's really not that fast. As you can see, I mean, a click registers in a little while. So I've preloaded a YouTube page here. YouTube runs good and the speakers surprisingly work. Even though this is supposed to be a virtual machine port, it does actually work pretty well. Uh, it, YouTube is a bit stuttery, obviously, because this is their first beta release. So I've got my Wi-Fi connected and everything. So I'm just going to pause this here. So you can see you've got all your general stuff. I'll try and see if that'll load, sir. Okay, so this is your menu type of thing. This is not obviously not running off a virtual machine, it's running off the... It's running off the flash drive, so you can see there that thing there, so... These are all your applications that you get. You get, you know, Picasa, Web, Hulu. Uh, you get some nice applications with it, Gmail. So if you don't know what this is, essentially, it's sort of a netbook type of thing. Uh, you know, it's just made for the internet, basically. It is based around the Google Chrome web browser. And essentially, the only thing that people really use a netbook for is the net. Although they do use it for other things, the main purpose that they have it for, hence the name netbook, is, you know, for the internet. Um, so, you know, this has got everything you'd want. YouTube, Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail... Uh, Google Reader, Google Docs, Hulu. Uh, Hulu would be great to watch some TV shows on as well. Uh, you've even got Twitter, Facebook, Chess, uh, you know, if you want to have a quick game. There's been rumours that there actually may even be applications made for it, like games and that. I don't know whether that's going to happen, but it may. But right now, even in, even in this is probably Alpha, uh, I know it's an actual beta, but they showed something that was far more advanced than this. Uh, but you can see, you know, it's got the battery. I don't know whether you can actually see that, but it's got the time and the battery and whatever, as you'd expect. And it even says UI is under development and uh, the design is subject to change, so it's not actually going to stay the same way forever. And I'll try and hit a new tab to show you here. Uh, okay. And so, you know, you've got your favorite sites, just like the exact uh, Chrome web browser. Of course, this is based off Linux, which is based around their browser. So that's a quick overview and it running off the flash drive because the virtual machine, for me, uh, I really disliked it, but it is pretty cool. I don't know whether the speed letdown is because of the USB flash drive. It could be, uh, but it's looking pretty promising, for me at least. I think it would be a pretty nice addition to Google's fleet. So yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe.